What up YouTube, it's Doom NYC here with yet another Deck Doctor. Uh, this one is for Cobra Kai 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Uh, he asked me to make a Mystic Piper deck, so here we go. Um, first off, we start off with two level ones, two battle faders. Uh, it's good to stall your opponent when you don't have, you know, any any field presence yet. It's a great early game, so obviously that's a good card. Um, one BLS. You play a ton of lights and darks in the deck, so why not play that? Uh, Triple Caius. Uh, you do have battle faders, Treeborn Frog, you know, Trigodias and stuff, so Caius is obviously good. You want to maximize a hit on his effect. Uh, double Chaos Sorcerer. Uh, not triple because you do run the Blackluster Soldier, so obviously double K uh, double Chaos Sorcerer gets the job done. Uh, one Dark Arm Dragon. Uh, you run a ton of darks in the deck, so you should play this. And I mean, if you're worrying about drawing it late game and it being dead, you can always lure it away. So that's good draw power. Uh, triple Effect Veiler. This is ob this is like the most obvious choice in the deck. Uh, I've seen some people only playing two, but this format. Especially with windups being the way they are and injectors, uh, you should definitely be running three veilers. So, without question, you gotta run triple veiler. Uh, one glow up bulb, obvious staple, best uh, tuner in the game. Uh, Gores, obvious, you don't really run any back row. Uh, triple Kinko Bio, obviously, this is gonna be getting back your level ones from the grave. More than likely, you're gonna just be looping this with your Mystic Pipers when we run three of those. Uh, for you, those of you out there who don't know what Mystic Piper does, uh, when he's summoned on the field, you can tribute him to look at the next card on the top of your deck. If it's a monster card, you keep it and you draw one more. I mean, you get to draw a card regardless, but if it's a mo level 1 monster, you get to keep it and draw one more card. So that's obviously really good because you can literally draw 3 in one turn with this guy. It's pretty good. Uh... Symphonic Warrior Basses. Now, this is a great tech for the deck that he came up with. Um, I actually like it. I don't like running two, though. Uh, I think that one is a little bit better. Uh, if you can get this into the graveyard quickly, you can abuse it with Kinko Bio. You know, you use Kinko Bio, you bring this back from the field. Whatever cards you have in your hand, you add that those cards to the levels for this card. So if you have five cards, this guy becomes level six, plus the Kinko Bio on the fields seven and if you have like a glow up in the grave then you can get a quick level eight so that's pretty good uh... this is also very good for getting out Trishula. uh... next up we play double Trigodia. this is uh... an obvious staple to the deck i mean you're not running back row plus you know this can do a lot of stuff for you so it's very good in the deck and final one treeborn frog uh... It's just really good. It stalls out your opponent. It's tribute fighter for your Kaises and stuff like that. So if you have this constantly coming back, that's really good. So 24 monsters is the monster count. We're going to go to the spells. We got Allure of Darkness. Uh, your draw power for all your darks. So Allure is obvious. Uh, double creature swap. I don't like three. Uh, I think three might clog the hand a little bit. I don't want to draw two creature swaps in the beginning without... Kinko Bio. Uh, most of the time, when you play this card, you want to summon Kinko Bio first, and then you want to get a level one back, like a Effect Veiler, Glow Up Bulb, you know, Treeborn, Basses, whatever you want, and then you creature swap the other card and take their monster. So that's obviously really good. Dark Hole Staple, two enemy controllers, same thing. Uh, for the stuff you bring back with Kinko Bio, you're gonna want an enemy controller that stuff. Um, also, if you creature swap your Kinko Bio, that's an even more broken play because uh, you can creature swap Kinko Bio, take their stuff, and then at the end of the turn, Kinko Bio's because it's a spirit monster goes back to your hand. So you actually gained a plus one there. That's that's really really good. Uh, Foolish burial. I mean, obvious. You, there's lots of stuff you're gonna want to dump. Glow up bulb, Mystic Piper if you want, if you choose. Basses, Tree Barn. Just a lot of targets. Uh, Heavy Storm, Mind Controls, obvious. Um, Monster Reborn, Double Space, Back Row, uh, One for One. Obviously, you play a lot of level one, so you need to play this. Uh, Pot of Avarice to recycle your big stuff, like your 
Chaos Sorcerers, Caius's Black Horse Soldier, Gores, you know, stuff like that. Uh, Scapegoat, that's a tech that I'm using in a deck. I find it to be very good. Uh, it allows you a great mo uh, level modulation when it comes to Kinkubayo and bringing back stuff. You know, if you play a Scapegoat in your end phase with no monsters on the field and they attack one of the tokens, you got three. You summon Kinkubayo, you get one of your tuners back, like Effect Veiler. And then you can go level 5, you can go Armory Arm, you know, all kinds of stuff. And then finally, we do play one trap, Trap Dust Shoot. I think that Trap Dust Shoot shines the most in decks that don't play any traps. Uh, this can obviously be really good first turn, so I suggest that you play Trap Dust Shoot. 40 cards, that's the main deck. Side deck, we got two Cyber Dragons, two Crows, two Thunder Kings. And the Crows and the Thunder Kings, obviously... Crow is great because it's level 1 dark, remove a monster, works with King Kubayo's effect, works with uh, Mystic Piper, it's really good. Thunder King, obvious, great anti-meta card right now, plus it's a light, so more targets for your Chaos Sorcerers and your Blacklisted Soldiers. Uh, the third MST, in case you need more back removal, two Bottomlesses for Dino Rabbit, um, debunk, because more than likely... You know, your big plays are going to be with King Kubayo, so more than likely if you summon this, they may veil veil it. So, again, you know, debunks there. The Solemn Brigade, in case you need it, and one Chimera Tech. Now for the extra, we got Kataster, uh, Sacred Wyvern, because if you bring back King Kubayo and you have like a Caius or a Chaos Sorcerer in the field, you can bring back Veiler and then sync the Veiler with the Caius or a Chaos Sorcerer to get out Ancient Sacred Wyvern, so obviously that can be, you know, a big OTK card. Um, Arcanite, two Armory Arms, this is really good in the deck, you can get Armory Arm pretty easy with a lot of different cards, especially creature swaps, enemy controllers, and your scapegoats. Black Rose, Staple, Bryonic Staple, Formula, uh, this deck was obviously way too good with Formula at 3, but uh, with Formula at 1 you can still work around it a little bit. Scrap Dragon, uh, Shooting Quasar Dragon. Now, you guys might be wondering, but honestly, this can be gotten really easy. So, I uh, definitely suggest that for those of you that have Quasars, to put that in the deck. Um, one Shooting Star, obviously you need it. If you're going to play Quasar, you got to play Shooting Star. Stardust, uh, Hyper Librarian, just probably going to be the one that you go for most. Most of the time, when you play your Kinku Bayou, you're going to creature swap this and maybe take a Thunder King and you bring back a level 1 tuner. So you can go into your Librarian right there. That's really good. One Trish. Uh, easy to get out with Basses and stuff that you know limits levels like Trigodia and stuff like that. And finally, only one Exceed, uh, number 83, Galaxy Queen. It requires three level 1s. And that's relatively easy to get in this deck if you've got your Treeborn Frog going. You go Kinkubayo. You bring back Piper or Veiler or Bulb, and then you can get Galaxy Queen. So, uh, Cobra Kai, one, two, three, four, five. I hope that you like this deck. Uh, all I can say is try it out. You did have a lot of great text in your deck, but this is how I would want to play this deck. So, let me know what you guys think. Leave your comments down below. And until next time, YouTube, peace.